I think <clears throat> I think I have time for one opening remark, and I'll still be able to stay for my 15 minutes. You just heard uh, about London's treatment of race in his fiction, and I'm going to offer three examples of his treatment of race from his nonfiction. And I'm going to start by uh, referring to a comment that Anita made at the panel at lunch, that London liked to challenge popular perceptions of race in his writing. And that's exactly what he does in these three examples from his nonfiction. And the interesting thing about it is that he does it in a very ironic way. And each of the examples grows in dramatic irony as we proceed. <clears throat> in his articles and essays, Jack London frequently used racially charged titles and headers to attract readers thereby exploiting contemporary racism. However, having engaged the reader, you often reveal dissenting views through disclaimers or contrary exposition. Specific examples of this technique from London's nonfiction will be provided with a discussion of what they suggest regarding his own racial views. The following three examples of London's nonfiction serve to elaborate this thesis. Two of these, The Yellow Peril and The Salt of the Earth, are better known titles and have often been quoted out of context to misrepresent London as a racist. 